as part of the government's efforts to explore innovative land use, a task force led by JTC Corporation and the Urban Redevelopment Authority has been formed to study integrated developments with underground facilities. The task force seeks to carry out a feasibility study on integrated industrial developments with MRT depots by using the Sengkang depot as the pilot site. The study examines the cost, technical and operational implications as well as implementation issues with integrating different industrial users with MRT depots. Sengkang is a relatively young satellite residential new town in northeastern part of Singapore. It means prosperous harbor in Chinese. Originally a fishing village, the area is currently undergoing rapid development to transform into a self-sustained township. Our study site is located in the south central area of Sengkang. The site is bounded by Sengkang East Road on the east and Sengkang East Avenue to the north. Future development plans have indicates a future road on the south and west boundaries of the site. The site under study is divided into three parcels. Parcel C, Parcel B, and Parcel D and covers an area of 31 hectares. Parcel B is the existing MRT depot, to be decked over. Parcel C and D are natural terrain with varying heights. There is also a 15 meter deep trench between Parcel B and D and C and B. Access to the entire development will be from the future road on the south of the site. In terms of road hierarchy, the site is bounded by three major expressways, the CTE, TPE and KPE within a 4km radius, and a network of other major arterial roads around it. The study site is well connected by bus, LRT and MRT station. The MRT and LRT systems are currently operated by SBS Transit. The nearest MRT station is Pyeongkok, 400 meters away, and Rinjong LRT, just next to Parcel C. The site is also well served by nearby bus stops. Also located near the site are various activity nodes such as town centers and suburban malls. The study recommends two feasible master plan options for the development of the top side develop. The design and layout of the two master plans have different implications on issues such as the responsibility for infrastructural development, burden of cost of infrastructure development and flexibility with plot parcellation. The topside development will take place on proposed transfer deck above the current MRT depot roof deck. The transfer deck is necessary due to the need to accommodate M&D services which cannot penetrate the depot roof structure, as well as to allow for structural load transfer to take the building's loads back to the load-bearing column positions of the depot. Master Plan Option 1 The roads and services infrastructure will be built first. The proposed deck will be built 5.5 meters above the existing depot roof deck to function as a deck for structural load transfers and to allow services to be accommodated. The parcels of deck and on ground are then ready to be sold individually to end users for development. The structure supporting the road in phase 2 can connect to that of phase 1. The proposed deck structure of phase 2 can similarly be connected to that of phase 1. The road structure in Phase 3 also connects to the reserve phase in Parcel C. Land use for option 1 is as indicated. Phasing for option 1 is as indicated.
the longitudinal section of the side cuts through parcel B, showing the proposed deck above the depot roof deck. The space between the decks is used to house M&D services. This detailed cross-section shows M&D services in soil-filled trenches on both sides of the carriageway, and in the services crossing trenches to serve developments on both sides of the road. M&D services are routed along both sides of the road reserves in the services trenches. The entire road structure will be designed as part of the proposed deck. The services on either side of the road reserve can cross under the road connect to individual plots. The service trenches will be backfilled with soil such that any maintenance can be carried out in similar fashion as with conventional roadside services trenches. Master Plan Option 2 was developed to study the possibility of lowering the cost of the development, through an alternative option to place the main road on land, such that the services may be accommodated in the conventional way, buried in the services verges. The key features of the Option 2 Master Plan are, this Master Plan adopts the campus concept for developments on the deck, whereby developers can take on a larger plot of about 2.5 to 4.5 hectares, and have the flexibility to have their desired internal parcellation and routing of roads and services. The main road with the services infrastructure is located on true ground in Parcel D. Vehicular bridges with services trenches are built to the edge of the deck for each of the four campuses to connect. The height of the new deck may be reduced to 3.5 meters as sewerage lines are run a shorter length and are channeled through the services bridges to the discharge points on land. Land use for option 2 is as indicated. Phasing for option 2 is as indicated. The longitudinal section of the side cuts through parcel B, showing the proposed deck above the depot roof deck. The space between the decks is used to house M&D services. This detailed cross-section shows a typical road section designed to LTA standards. For this option, there is a need here for a retaining wall to stabilize the slope for the public road to be built on top of the slope. 
m and e services are routed along both sides of the road reserves in the services trenches. The service trenches will be backfilled with soil such that any maintenance can be carried out in similar fashion as with conventional roadside services trenches. Thus concludes our presentation. Thank you.